Hello, welcome back to part 16 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're gonna finish the tile strip class and we're gonna implement it in the game class of the map builder. So let's do that and let's build the update method. That's a um, public void update game time. And the first thing we're gonna do is get the current keyboard states. And that's an easy one. Current keyboard state is keyboard dot get state. And of course at the end set the previous keyboard states. And that's the previous keyboard state is equal to the current keyboard state. Alright, and now we can check for keyboards up. So we can say if utils the check keyboards and then we pass the current keyboard state and the previous keyboard state and the keys is up and then we say selected minus minus so we can do the same for the keyboard down, check for keyboard down if utils check keyboards and then we pass the current and the previous keyboard states keys down let me say selected plus plus. Alright, and now we have to check the boundings. So we can say if selected is smaller than zero, selected. is equals to zero. And if selected is greater than the tile count minus one selected is equals to tile count minus one. Alright. Update the tile strip. Provides snapshots of timing values. That's the update. All right. And now we can build the draw method. So let's do that here. And that's a public void draw. And then we need the sprite pads. And now we can draw all the tiles in the tile strip 
on the screen. So we need a for loop, so for e is 0, e smaller is than the tail count, e plus plus, and then we need to calculate the Sous rectangle. So Sous rect is a new rectangle and then we say E multiplied by came one tile size zero and the came one tile size for the width and the came one tile size for the height right then we need to calculate the destination rectangle so destination rect is new rectangle and that's 650 and then we're gonna say 48 plus e multiplied by the selector width and again and the width and the height is again game one tail size game one tail size so and now we can draw the current tile of the tile strip on the screen. Right? So sprite pets dot draw and we're gonna draw the game one the tile strip texture and we're gonna draw it at the destination rectangle from the source rectangle and the color is white okay and with this done we can now calculate the destination rectangle for the selector so destination rectangle is new rectangle and now it's 648 and 46 plus selected selected multiplied by the selector width and this is the selector width and the selector height And now we can draw the selector on the screen. Right? So sprite beds dot draw the selector at the destination rectangle. And the color is white. Okay. Draw the tile strip on the screen. The actual sprite bats. That's the 
draw. All right. And now we have finished our tile strip class. We can implement the tile strip in the game class of the map builder. So let's do that. And the first thing we need to do is define our tile strip. So private tile strip, and we call it the tile strip. And that's the tile strip. Objects. All right. Now we have to create a new one. So now we can say here, tile strip is new tile strip. All right. Create a new tile strip. And now we have created the tile strip. We need to load the content for the tile strip. So load the content for the tile strip. So we can say here tile strip dot load content and then we pass the content. All right. Now we need to update the tile strip. So we can say here tiles update the tile strip. Update the tile strip. And that's tile strip dot update and we pass the game time. All right. Update the grid, cursor, and tile strip. All right. And now we need to draw the tile strip and we're gonna do it after the grid so the cursor is on top draw the tile strip on the screen so we can say here the tile strip dot draw and we pass the sprite beds all right well see how it looks when we run and build. Now we have a tile strip at the right side of our screen and when we go down and up we can select different tiles which we're gonna use to build our background. Right? Alright, press the escape key to quit the game. And I'm going to finish the tutorial here. In the next tutorial, we're going to build a tile list and a tile class. So we're going to draw our tiles on the screen. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.